Watch Dogs is a brand new game experience well anchored in reality. We all live into a hyper-connected world. The next step is the concept of smart cities, a system that manages entire cities to solve complex problems. Traffic jams, war against crime, power management. This concept is real. In our game, we call it the CTOS program. CTOS is real. We should be able to see it, right? What we wanted to do was make the invisible visible, of course. In Watch Dogs, the entire city of Chicago is ruled by a system of data dedicated to citizens. But what about cities that are closer to us, like Berlin, London or Paris? Are they smart cities already? The answer is yes, definitely. And that's what we wanted to prove with Watch Dogs We Are Data. We are all living in an hyper-connected world, but are not necessarily aware of that. With Watchdogs We Are Data, we give everyone the access to data that are managing our everyday lives, either on public transportation fields or on social network activities. We want to empower people by making them realize what's currently happening with data in our lives. It's not the future, it's now and it's real. Creating Watchdogs We Are Data was a huge technological challenge. The team that worked on the project was made of more than 15 people. The creative team, one data analyst for France, one for England, one for Germany, the project managers of course, and many developers. Three of the developers were dedicated to the 3D engine, the one that's based on Away 3D. In Watchdogs, the city is so essential. It can be considered as a whole character. And that's why we had to focus our attention on the craft of Watchdogs We Are Data CD map. So we made buildings appear in volume and 3D in real time. So the key idea was to make the buildings burst out of the cadastral data, which are usually used for like, administrative purposes. In a word, imagine your tourist city map suddenly turning into 3D. And this is how we created a fully immersive environment without a single drop of 3D modeling. The trains were a tough one, and sometimes the usual web technologies are not enough. So we had to go beyond and watch over what was done in the transport industry. And in the end, we ended up using the same standard that the one used to manage the Portland metropolitan area. That way, we can show the real way the train moves. The last thing we wanted to do was to make a light version of Watchdogs Wear Data for mobile devices. So what we did is an even better one. Indeed, we added a bonus. When you go on the mobile sites, you're geolocated and you dive into the heart of the map, surrounded by data. And when you think about it, public data used to be so protected, so private. And now today, open data is not just a real trend, it's, it's full of new opportunities like services, improving your day-to-day -day life, and it's all available now. The only question is, what's next? Control over public data? That just happens in video games, right?